This is my comb tool. I use it to flatten combs. It's made out of a very durable uh, composite of recycled paper and natural resins. It's the same material I use to make my comb. Um, what's special about it is this one surface is perfectly flat. It's as flat as I can get it. And we're going to use that as a reference. We're going we're gonna to look at the comb and look to see if any light is shining through. You place the comb tool over the, the, the comb so that you distribute your weight. And then you go around once or twice. Or do this with the other side. <sighs> okay, so we have sanded down that surface. The next step is to measure flatness because just sanding down the surface doesn't guarantee that it's flat. So we're going to look up to the light. I'm going to I'm going to look at the flatness of the comb this way. I have a fluorescent light on my wall facing me so that I could put my comb tool to my comb and then measure one side and then the other. I'm looking for cracks of light. So this surface seems flat. I'm going to do the same thing at the tips of the reeds and I don't see any light shining through on one side and then I'm going to look this way to see if there's any light shining through. Okay, whoop, I was, you saw a little crack of light, that's exactly what I'm, what we're looking for, but that was a false negative because I was holding the tool crooked. So now we're going to flip the comb to, the, the comb around, and we're going to look at the other surface. And here is what we're looking for. See that crack of light? If I push it down and release on this side, you see the crack of light appears here. Okay, so this comb is U-shaped. So how are we going to fix that? So this part of the comb is higher than this part and this part. So uh, just just dragging it around the surface of the uh, sandpaper is not going to solve anything because it's just going to round itself out. So what we're going to do is use the comb tool to focus pressure on one part of the comb. Now I've found because there's more material on the bottom than at the tip, it's actually not a good idea to, to put pressure on the comb this way. We put pressure about halfway along the comb and everything sort of gets distributed. So I'm pushing downwards and I'm dragging the comb around. Okay, and now just to even everything out, put that on top, do a quick pass. So let's reassess where we are by looking up at the light. Okay, here we are again, and there's no more light. We have straightened, we have straightened that out. So let's look at the tip of the tines. There's no cracks of light. And we're going to look in between. I'll just do a few tines just to show you. But we're measuring in between each time. So here's an example of a problem you can run into that you can fix fairly easily with the comb tool. So if you look here you can see that these tines are not touching the surface of the comb tool but everything else is. So we've just determined that th there's, a, there's a low spot here. So how are we going to fix this? Well, we can't raise this up, but what we can do is lower everything on this side and on this side and then flat sand so that it all evens out. So the way I would approach this is I would start on this side and I know it's these three tines that need to be uh, evened out. 
or rather it's the every other tine except for those three needs to be evened out. So I'm just going around up to about here. Okay, and then I'm going to switch and I'm just going to do this area. Now I'm going to even everything out. Let's take a look. Where so that really quick intervention was enough to straighten everything out. Let's see if everything else is still okay. I'm angling the comb back and forth just so I can make sure that I, I'm i seeing what I need to see. That if there's any light... Oh, what's that? Aha! So in doing whatever we've done, we've created another high spot. Okay. See that? Now this is terrible. You'll never get a good air seal with this. It seems to correct itself. It seems to be okay down on those reeds. So what are we going to do? So we have pointer here. So these tines, now the tips are all straight, but there's a little bulge here. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, take a little piece of sandpaper, 220 grit, fold it up, make a little, just a little surface here. And it's only these three reeds, so we're going to sand that problem away. Okay, start little by little. So we've created a little dent here. And we'll just do the same thing, we'll even it out. Now let's see where. So let's take a look at this side from A to Z. Is it straight on the side? On the back, rather. Let's look at the tips. Tips are still good, and now along the tines. Yeah, I am very, very happy with that. So that's how you use the comb tool. It helps you flatten the comb, but most importantly, it's a measuring tool. So you know what areas are causing you the problems and you can eliminate them. I hope that helps.